Hi, my name is Sarah Lydell. I'm a veterinarian at River City Veterinary Hospital. And today I'm going to talk about ear infections in dogs. It's probably the number one problem I see in dogs in my practice. And there are a lot of questions surrounding this problem. The most common is, is why does this recur? And why can't this, why is this an ongoing problem with my dog? So the, the number one reason for ear infections in dogs are allergies. Allergies are something that causes inflammation of the canal and with the inflammation that makes it a, a nice environment, moist, warm environment for bacteria and yeast to grow. Well, unless the underlying cause of the allergies is controlled, those, re those ear infections will become recurrent. And so you have to control the allergies to control the ear infection. Also, you have to make sure the ear infection is cleared up to be with, completely cleared to begin with. If the ear infection is, is started to be treated and the owner thinks that it looks great and so it doesn't come back in for that recheck, but those bacteria and yeast are still growing, then the ear infection will just slowly come back over time. Also, again, like I said, if those, if those allergies aren't controlled, um, then that ear infection will just slowly come back because the inflammation is still there. So it's very important to work with your doctor and come back for those rechecks to find out if that ear infection is completely uh, cleared up. And the, the number one way we diagnose the problem is by doing a swab of the material that's in the ear. And we're looking for three things yeast, bacteria, or a combination, and then we also sometimes find um, parasites. Ear mites, while common in cats, are very uncommon in dogs, but occasionally we do see that. And then we also um, look for the other underlying causes that aren't your chronic recurrent, they're, they're your more acute, and they've come up just that one time your dog's never had an ear infection and is suddenly uh, shaking one, one side of its ear, holding the ear down. Um, and that can be a foreign body, such as cheatgrass, or in our area of the country, or any type of plant material that gets down in there. Um, and obviously, once that's removed, you clear up the infection if there is one, and that probably is not going to come back. Um, sometimes people report that every time they go swimming with their dog, they, their dog is an ear infection. There are some dogs that have a narrowing of their canal that predisposes them to getting water trapped down in there. That's actually a relatively uncommon cause of ear infections, but if you can combine the right anatomy with the right situation, that, that can definitely be a problem. And so in those situations, you should talk to your veterinarian about a drying agent or something you can apply to the ear to help displace that water after swimming. Now, um, the other causes are very uncommon outside of certain breeds. We see Cocker Spaniels and they're fairly known for their chronic ear problems. There's several things that play into that and that is anatomy. Their ear canal actually sags and creates a, an occlusion of the canal and traps material down there. And then they also have a problem with their skin and how it's formed. So unless you have a Cocker Spaniel, I'm talking about every other breed except for that particular breed. They're, they're very unique. Um, so. Once you get a handle on, handle on treating these ear infections, they can be managed at home. But again, it's very important to clear it up completely by going back with your doctor and checking to make sure it's gone and then controlling that underlying allergy, whether it's a food allergy, a contact or inhalant allergy, or a combination of both. Once these have been addressed, you should be much happier in understanding how the ear infections are occurring and that you have them under control. Uh, and and if you want to find out more information about ear infections in general, you can go to our website, rivercityvet.com, and under the client education section, there's a pet library. And that library has a ton of information, and you can look up otitis externa or ear infection, or if you happen to have a Cocker Spaniel, you can probably just type in Cocker Spaniel ear infection, and you'll find a lot of information. I hope you find that helpful, as I hope you found this discussion helpful. Thank you.